down to see that, but we're going to go Did he go safe. full savage? Like. Yeah. yeah we're, we're going to go with a safe pick, uh, Maribel Lucina. Yeah. We got um, some hype in the building going on. The spirit of SoCal showing up. All right, we're going into this K9 and SS versus JTales and Zenyu on Pokemon Stadium here. And we're going to be starting off with uh, Zenyu and JTales trying to control center stage right now. JTales trying to control the ledge against this inkling here. He gives up state, uh, the ledge pressure right there. And uh, we're... Yeah, Zenyu, Zenyu is just doing Zenyu still. Like, right. he, he is doing uh, well at like, keeping K9 above him when he starts a combo off. And K9 just has taken so much damage already. Yeah, and it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty good too, because uh, uh, Marcina and uh, quite a few of the Swordsmen don't have too many good come down options. And j -Tail's actually locking Zenyu into double PK fire and K9 pushing him back into it with a fair. That was good awareness from K9, just adding some extra damage that I probably couldn't get earlier with uh, against Zenyu. And one of the things to look for, you know, as the percent start climbing on uh, on K9 and Lucina, because they're so separated, like anytime they hit Lucina away, that's so much more time for Zenyu and J-Tails to 2v1 SS, so yeah. keep that in mind right now. But SS doing such good work on the edge right there, keeping them off stage, and K9 chiming in as well. Yeah, and K9 uh, trying to take the lead there, but should have been in the back. He does. He did have the. Uh, he had more percent of the two, so it would have made sense if he was just holding center stage and uh, J tells. Yeah, uh, J tells. Uh, uh, yeah, really J making sure friendly yeah. fire is on. Friendly PK fire coming in right there. That's like the third one that I've seen this set. So let's see if we can yeah. rein that in a little bit. It is crazy too. It's actually harder to escape PK fire now. Oh yeah, I noticed that. It's like uh, a boss. I get hit by one PK fire. I'm like, wait a second. I'm, I'm about to get by a second one. I'm like, hold up. I'm at 60. percent I was at zero like <laughs> a second ago. Okay, gonna go with the nair. Very nice, strong nair to keep uh, SS off the stage. More time to mess up K9's a neutral game there. Zenyu trying to hold center, uh, hold ledge guarding, and got poked out by the shield breaker there. Yeah, definitely. Red team just really kind of controlling the stage right now, controlling the the flow of the match. Zenyu oh my god! Can I can I went from like 60 to 93 from 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 PK fires? And Zenyu was there just jabbing back into the PK fire if he, he was about to escape. Oh no, there's a fair, there's no yeah. jump, that is a dead K9. Yeah, good call on that, he's definitely out and it's looking a little bit of trouble right now for the red team, or for the yellow team, red team with a pretty comfortable lead coming in now to the latter half of the of the game. I'm gonna be honest, I've never seen Inkling back throw kill. I know it's a strong throw, but I've never seen it throw, uh, kill. But uh, that's what took Zenyu's stock on the right side there. j -Tail's just keeping SS on, off on the side. That was really good ledge pressure. But they switch it up. They have Zenyu uh, go back to the ledge to pressure uh, SS and have j -Tail's deal with the Lucina. Yeah, right now, just j -Tail's putting in so much work in that PK Thunder. SS desperately trying to land. Yeah, especially with how the shield mechanics and air dodge mechanics work now, it's harder to get around projectiles because I believe you only have one air dodge in the air. Right. And your shield loses to projectiles quite a bit, especially since uh, perfect shielding, you need to let go of your shield now. Right. So you can't be, you can't do any reactionary uh, perfect shields uh, by pressing the button. And SS lingering, you know, just barely holding on to the stock right now. Ooh. Good for smash from K9. Why are you Making reaching? Some plays. Getting out of my face. K9 gonna take some extra percent here, 36% by SS off the stage once more. Taken off stage by the up B, and that is an up. Oh wow, he just missed the punish. Yeah, I'm not sure if PK Thire might have disrupted it, might have uh, kept him alive. Did a down smash. That oh, was enough to nice. kill and then red team coming into that 2v1 stretch. Yeah, Ooh. and here we're going to be seeing a lot of Zenyu being in front since he has the stock lead. And uh, PK Thunder is well equipped yeah. to work around, you know, work around Zenyu. Yeah, and if it gets too close, Zenyu could just work around just... And if it's too close, then he could just opt for getting hit by the tail. Obviously, you don't want to get any damage on you, but right there, he just gets right by. Going to go with a back air, very strong hit. Gets him from the other side of the stage. Very clean, very clean closeout right there. Just got the grab, pummeled him, and that's his back air is the Destroyer of Worlds since yeah. 1999. <laughs> yeah. Uh, same with that, uh, with Ness's back throw, but j -Tel's opting not to use his back mm -hmm. throw. Just opting to keep stage control, using his PK fires, PK yeah. thunders to control most of the stage. Because it seems like SS and K9 in that game did not have an answer for that, uh, for those. The support games. game, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was really good uh, support game from j -Tails. Uh, uh, I don't think they're uh, counterpicking Arena Fair out, so that's uh, not if legal. They, if, they, <laughs> if they are, it, it has to be Omega or Battlefield. <laughs> well, that's true. Uh, let's see uh, what adaptations they have. You know, I, I think with the characters that they're using, K9 and uh, SS are going to really have to focus on just staying together, getting that stage control, 
yeah. and putting in damage and not let Ness set up that PK Thunder turret and just uh, mold them out of the sky. Yeah. So. And um, as you said before, setting up that center stage is really important with characters like Marcina, yeah. who have a really good neutral game coming from Smash 4 implemented into here. They might have a shorter sword from Smash 4, but in Ultimate, they still have their neutral game. And right. Inkling being the setup character can cover any any uh, any spaces that K9 has left open. And I'm interested to see, they went to Final Destination, so they're gonna try to open the game up a little bit more. It's uh, maybe a player preference, because you know, playing armchair quarterback here, I would have said maybe pick something uh, with more platforms and more landing options, but yeah. they're gonna go for an open stage. Maybe there's like FD, let's see what ends up happening. Yeah, and in this sense, it gives them more more ways to control the stage because they don't have to worry about, uh, why is he at 77? Like, So much damage. Okay, but like, yeah, uh, not having platforms allows them to have more, uh, cent uh, more stage control because they're not worried about covering platforms now. They just have to worry about how the other, the other players are going to land. Right now, the strategy seems to be backfired. The uh, Piggy Thunder turret's up, and it's open fire, and K9 is not landing. Yeah, the problem there is K9 has been swinging a bit much, and you gotta watch out for Yo-Yo. It yeah. drops below the ledge on both up smash and down smash, so you gotta you gotta watch yourself if you're holding onto the ledge too long against a Ness. And there's a back there that should take the stock, and Red Team already out to immediate lead. It almost looks like this counter picks uh, backfiring on Yellow Team just a little bit yeah. with how much stage control that Red Team's uh, you know leveraged out of it so far. Yeah, and I want to see K9 uh, slow down his uh, his Lucina's aerial inputs. A lot of the damage that he took the first stock was from him trying to whack that PK Thunder. Sometimes what you gotta do is just throw out the counter. Because yeah. one, one hit of the PK Thunder is enough to trigger the counter and to make it go away. Right. That should be a forward smash that is yeah. gonna take the stock. Good roller setup, you know, that's uh, the, the new ultimate special. <laughs> yeah. If you're grounded, uh, goodbye, stock. Yeah. <laughs> But oh, Kane, I know, jump! Oh, no, is it going to save? Oh, I was like hoping Inkling might have been able to get down there, no, but not in, quite. I think Inkling's hitbox is yeah. only uh, when they splash. Well, when they splash, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which makes me question why they still have a hitbox on their way down uh, when they hit the floor, but a lot. Like, I don't think it has that in Splatoon either. <laughs> so, but a lot. Wow, everyone getting in on the yeah. body K9 combo here. Yeah, it's K9 already on his last stock, and. Let's see, and j -Tail's just making making him hate his life right now. <laughs> oh, wow. SS able to uh, gimp Zenyu there just a little bit too far for the upbeat to reach. j -Tail's starting to set up his back air walls with his PK Thunders. And right there, we have PK Thunder on one side, making sure that he's keeping uh, Zen oh, wow, keeping K9 away from SS so that they force the share sock and the kill there. Yeah, now we're down to that 2v1, and similar to last game, Red team's got that 2v1 situation with a stock to spare, so you know, I'm not saying that miracles don't happen, but K9's in looking out there, it's over. I don't think he had a jump. <laughs> That's, that might be why he went for the straight up beat. Yeah. And yeah, There's Zenyu no J Tails. Man. Yeah, Zenyu J Tails making quick work of uh, you know the Bruce brothers out of uh, out of Arizona, and uh, I guess K9 SoCal too. But you know, good showing. Um, was that was, was that what, that was a losers bracket side, so. Um, yeah, I think so. Ooh, okay. So they, they're out. That might have been around seventh place or 